happy with Leon Carlin after a 3 1 defeat to Stockton in the pre season for anybody thoughts on the game, Leon? It's frustrating, slightly annoying, Joe. Um, I think we've come up against a good side tonight. Um, but we haven't helped ourselves. Um, we've spoken about it a couple of games so far this uh, pre season where turning the ball over, making it unnecessary, making it easy for the opposition. Um, and we've done it again tonight. I said in the first half, um, we need to make proper football decisions in our half of the pitch. Um, in the final third, I thought we looked lively in the first half. Um, we created chances, a little bit more quality, albeit probably not deservedly. Um, we could have been up in the game, but we keep constantly making sloppy mistakes, lack of communication at times. But it is what it is, they're a good side. Um, take nothing away from Stockton, I just feel. There was times and moments in the game where we probably need to take the sting out of it and make better decisions. So it's, it's frustrating from that point of view. Obviously, I know Chris alluded to it on Tuesday when he was here that mm. it's obviously a lot of, it's what, maybe 11 new players yeah. at the group at the minute? Yeah. It's obviously probably still pre season, it's going to gel and probably yeah. go into the first couple of games of the season where it's going to be bits and points where we're yeah. frustrated, maybe results mm. might look all the way or do it do, but it's just kind of now trying to get the group gelled and. Um, there is that and it, it doesn't happen overnight Joe but the reality is this is what we said at the start of pre-season we've now played five games and at points in games we have done well and there's things there's, there's definitely positives to build on but there's still areas and like you say when you're bringing in an excessive amount of players and I'll be honest with you I think we're still shy of two or three so as a management team we've got something to do uh, improve the squad it is going to be slightly disjointed, a few bumps in the road, but it's a long season. Like I say, it, it's not going to be free flown from the first game, Billingham Synthonia down here to tonight. Um, there's going to be a period of time where we need to just grow as a squad, get to know what people are about. But we will. Um, I have no doubt about that. Um, when, I, when we have everyone fit and available, I believe we've got a decent squad, a few additions between now and the start of the season. I have no fears about what we're going to be doing, but in the moment, we've come here tonight, a couple of people missing, we haven't played well in certain stages of the game, it just feels a bit sore, but like Chris has mentioned previously, we'll be all right, we'll obviously, be all right. Obviously, it being the last pre-season game for mm -hmm. Play West in the FA Cup, mm -hmm. is it now trying to get everyone switched on to realise we're going into a competitive game now? I think that happens naturally. I think that happens naturally. I think pre-season, um, it is what it is. You can try and drive lads into uh, getting into that mentality that it's a, it's, a, it's a proper game, so to speak. But we'll train Tuesday, we'll train Thursday, and then we'll go into the West game, switched on. We know what it means to the football club, to the fans, uh, to local derby, bragging rights at stake. Lads will be switched on for that. Hopefully, um, a few injuries will clear up and Morton Jake will be back, Ryan will be back. Um, and Gelly will be back from all day. They're, they're three players in the current moment, senior players in the team, and we aren't in a position at the moment to have three senior players out of the team. So bringing them back in will be a, a fresh lease of life for us, and we'll be all right. I right, cheers, Leon. Thank you. Thanks, Joe.